Well, it was just last night that we brought you a very special report focused on broadband internet coverage here in Western New York, specifically why state lawmaker claims that the state has a 100% coverage and it isn't true. And tonight we're looking at two Western New York counties that seem to be in limbo compared to others when it comes to high speed internet access. Nate Benson brings us the second part of this two on your side original report. We reported about some of the issues two on your side and others identified with the New York State broadband program. Now I want to take the time to dig into the data a little bit more and specifically look at some of the glaring numbers in Niagara and Orleans County. When the broadband program awarded money to service providers, I noticed significant money went to Allegheny, Cattaraugus, and Chautauqua counties. I'm not implying those counties weren't deserving, but collectively those three counties received 70 plus million dollars of state money for the broadband program. Niagara and Orleans County received less than $250,000 from the state broadband program. Does this mean there's less demand for broadband in Niagara and Orleans County? Orleans County Legislator Lynn Johnson and Niagara County Legislator David Godfrey have been working on the rural broadband issue for nearly a decade. We don't have internet coverage 100%. We're nowhere near where we should be in internet coverage. We have our sheriff's department that actually has to burn CDs and walk them to the district attorney's office because we don't have the upload speeds. When Johnson and Godfrey got started on this project nearly a decade ago, they did make some headway with a service provider that would provide broadband speeds to both Niagara and Orleans County. We were positioned to apply. We located a vendor. We got tied up with the Charter Time Warner merger, which became Spectrum. Because of that, uh, we were unable to bid because they claimed the census blocks within their service area which excluded us from bidding, obviously, on those census blocks. So because of that merger, unfortunately, we were not able to bid on the first or second round of bidding. The Time Warner Cable and Charter merger finalized in May of 2016. The New York State Public Service Commission mandated that Charter would need to connect 145,000 homes that were unserved or underserved. According to lawmakers I spoke with, large swaths of Niagara and Orleans County were supposed to be upgraded or connected to the Charter system. So now, three and a half years later since the charter merger, those homes have been connected, right? That is not what happened. That is not what happened. And again, that's either shame on the state for not making charter do what they were supposed to do, or shame on charter for not doing what they were supposed to do. In their latest filing with the New York State Public Service Commission, charter said it's completed 88,101 passings as part of their commitment. A passing is an installation of new connection. However, the documents filed with the Public Service Commission do not publicly state where these connections actually occurred. A representative from Charter refused to answer to on your side as to how many homes they've connected in Niagara and Orleans County as part of their obligation to the Public Service Commission. Officials I spoke to estimate that even though FCC data says otherwise, thousands of housing units in Niagara and Orleans County remain unserved or are drastically underserved. It was decisions that were made by the PSC, by the State Broadband Office, and by Charter um, that led us to where we are, but it's also frustrating for me to hear the governor and others talk about this like it's a, it's a, a huge success, you know, victory, mission accomplished, when n nothing could be further from the truth. When you talk to residents in these counties about the issue, they're frustrated, mainly because no one can give them a straight answer. We're telling our taxpayers, as we tell them every day, to be, be patient. We're doing everything we possibly can to entice a vendor out here. And as the days, weeks, months, and year go by, residents, farmers, small business owners in Niagara and Orleans County continue to wait, hoping to get connected. And Nate Benson joins us now here on set. Nate, you've been looking into this yep. for quite a while now, literally months of work. A story last night, again tonight. What surprised you most about what you've learned? Digging into the data, looking at how they measure a house is served or not. And the way the census blocks works, we explained it online at WGRZ.com. Um, that was fascinating because it's just riddled with inaccuracy. If one house in a census block is uh, connected, then the whole block, which might have 10 or 15 houses in some areas, uh, is considered served. But those, those houses might not actually have broadband. Somebody just a few hundred feet down the street. A couple hundred feet, exactly. Wow. Well, yeah. we know there's so much more on yeah. this, and you're going to continue mm -hmm. your reporting. And again, you can see all of Nate's reports on WGRZ.com. Great work. Thank Great you. Great legwork. Great reporting. Thank you. Great. Thank you.